Fredericton High School, one of the highly coveted roles for a member of the graduating class is the role of valedictorian. I am so pleased to announce this year's recipient, Julia Palmer. It is my honor to address all my fellow graduates, teachers, mentors, parents, grandparents. Words cannot describe how grateful I am for us to be gathered together, more or less, during these unprecedented times. I bet you're tired of hearing that word, huh? This year has been full of pandemic buzzwords that are sure to send shutters down spines decades down the line. The floating around articles and conversation has been plenty of chaos and quarantine, shutdown and social distancing, all in an attempt to return to a new normal. These are the terms I hope to leave behind in the coming years. This is not the year we've been hoping for, and it's certainly not the year I had in mind as a young student who fantasized about the day she'd walk across that stage diploma in hand. It is all too easy to be caught up in what the class of 2021 has lost and to let the unique experiences that we've gained go unnoticed. Senior year may not have brought with it the picture-perfect high school dream, but it brought resilience and a reminder of what is most important in our lives, community. I believe hardship is a garden. We can choose to let it become a stressor in our lives, consumed with weeds and neglect, or we can tend to it, allow it to facilitate growth and development. Gardens thrive with helping hands, too. Whether it be a family member, those like family, or a friendly classmate, isolation has brought an extraordinary emphasis on community. We are not defined by our trials, but are instead inspired by them. They build relationships, character, and strength. And just as a rose blossoms from a bud, we are not the same people we were a year ago, and that's a beautiful thing. I'm sure if life went the way we wanted it to all the time, it'd be a bore. And you can say what you like about online learning, but attending chemistry class from my bed will be sorely missed. Unique experiences create unique individuals, and it makes the world just that much more exciting to be a part of. So, while this year may be described with words such as chaos, panic, and uncertainty, I find that my feelings can only be described with words such as hope, perseverance, and gratitude. I want to extend my deepest gratitude to all who have been a part of my lockdown life, those who have stuck by me through what has quite literally felt like the end of the world. Now more than ever, we need the support of those we surround ourselves with. I want to thank the class of 2021 for all your hard work and good spirits, and of course the teachers who haven't received even half of the recognition and credit they deserve for the endless hours and energy spent to give us as much of a regular education as possible. We might not have a prom or 3,000 of our family members gathered to watch us graduate, but we have a story, a turning point in our lives, an experience that only makes us stronger. So congratulations, graduates, and as we embark on our separate paths, we'll take with us this truly unforgettable senior year.